Hey, what's up everybody? Dan Tortora here. I want to take some time to just reflect on some things that I've learned. Not everybody has the same heart as you. That's something that you see. It's true. Not everybody has the same morals and values as you. Not everybody regards certain things the same as you do. And in the life that we live, we can do the best that we possibly can. And it still may not please certain people. And the actuality of that is those people, you are never going to please. You are never going to make happy enough. Those people that would go out to dinner and complain about anything, right? The steak's not warm enough. If the steak's warm enough, then they don't like the painting on the wall. If they like the painting on the wall, then they don't like the cushion that they're sitting on. If they like the cushion they're sitting on, they don't like the fact that they're next to a crying baby's table. People that are just going to be unhappy are just going to be unhappy, and you're never going to change that. You know, I talk to people and and that I love dearly about the whole thought of you could bring a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That reality that you can try your hardest to get the best out of someone, to get someone to care, but you can't make somebody care. And there was a movie that I watched, Little Italy, and there was a grandmother in it and they were making sauce and they had the tomatoes and her granddaughter was squeezing these tomatoes like really, really hard. Really, really hard. And she said to her, you have to treat a tomato like you treat the heart of the person that, you know, like you want to be with. If you have to squeeze your tightest just to get a little bit of love out of their heart, then they're not meant for you. Because a person should give their heart freely. You shouldn't have to force love out of it. And that hit home with me. Silence being an answer, that hit home with me too. Because we live in a world where people ghost. People train for a job and then they never show up for the first day. People talk to someone and tell them that they're attractive and they're awesome and they're funny and they're great and they had a great time and then they never speak to them again. Friends that have been friends for years, all of a sudden one day, are total strangers. You can't make somebody care. You can't make somebody love you. And it is very hard to find peace in this world when you are trying to get people to treat you the way that you treat them or to think of you the way that you think of them. When you put so much work in, you're, you're trying to get that work out. You're trying to squeeze the love out of their heart. And you can't. I think we spend most of our time on this planet worrying what other people think about us, how other people feel about us, and if we matter to them. Instead of realizing the fact that we come from a God who has never said once that we don't matter, has made us in his image and likeness, and has never once said, I don't want you anymore. I don't care about you. God never ghosts you. God never runs from you. God never lies to you. God never makes you wonder, what is, what is this and what is that? God is always present. So in a time where you're really struggling, I would tell you to trust God. Surround yourself with loving, caring people who will tell you the truth. And spend time getting to know who you are and why you are. So oftentimes we take our energy and we just give it to somebody else. If we've been through a ton of pain, we just give that pain to somebody else. We don't always pay good forward. Sometimes we pay bad backward. We give people our drama and our trauma and our stress and our strife and our anger and our paranoia and our questioning and that's not fair. You know, I've watched a bunch of these, a bunch of things these last few days about people saying that nice men and nice women finish last because by the time 
a nice woman or a nice man meets somebody, that person's been through so much trauma that they're expecting that nice person isn't real and they're expecting them to fail and they're not believing that it's true. And they look for the smallest, tiniest red flag of that, of that good person. And so if that good person does anything to make them think about anything, they go, see, and they throw that person in the trash. They said, that's why nice people finish last. Because when a good person meets somebody, they don't believe that you're real. And or they don't believe that they deserve you. And I'm here to tell you, don't stop being a good person. Don't stop giving all you can. And if somebody doesn't believe you're real, it doesn't mean you're not. If somebody doesn't see your value, it doesn't mean that you have no value. If somebody doesn't respect you and appreciate you, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't be respected or appreciated. We need to take the power of our own happiness out of the hands of other people, and we need to have it come from within. We need to have it come from the heart that God put in us. And I know some of you might struggle with faith, but I'm telling you my entire life would be nothing without God. I would have accomplished nothing, I would have been nothing to myself. I, would have, I wouldn't have loved myself. I wouldn't have gotten through trauma. I wouldn't have gotten through pain. I wouldn't have gotten through adversity. There's nothing in my life I could have done alone. And without God, when people say, how do you know God is real? Because I'm here. Because I have never lost my spirit. So if today you're struggling if today you're watching this video and it's really hard, don't give up. Don't let anyone's opinion of you, their hatred, their negativity, don't let any of that come through and make you believe that that's true. We all matter. We all have value. We're all important to God. We came from the same maker and we have the capacity to love. Don't ever shut that off. It's better to wait for someone who loves you than to try and force someone to love you who doesn't. Stay safe. God bless. No stress. Do your best.